everyone welcome to kvation engineering uh, youtube channel so uh, today is the lesson number 11 so today i'm going to teach you about the pack sensor components locations and description so if you still not subscribe my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel and also please press the bell icon for upcoming videos and uh, if you still not share my video please share uh, because it will be useful for your friends relatives and uh, the people who like for aviation so uh, if you still not uh, watch my previous videos i will uh, i will put a card uh, in the above so you can check uh, the playlist regarding the uh, zone temperature control so then you can watch these uh, videos one by one okay so no need to talk a lot so let's go to today lesson pack sensor components location and description right All right, so in this lesson, you will identify the locations and the description of the pack sensor components, right? So locations and the description of the pack sensor components. So the first one is flow sensor. So you can see the flow sensor over there. So the location is here. This is the pack, right? So this is the right, uh, right pack. So you can see the flow sensor location. So this is the flow sensor. So this is the electrical connector and the sense line connectors over there. Sense line connectors and this is the flow sensor body. All right, so it measures a differential pressure which is equivalent to the airflow through the valve. So the delta pressure, it means delta pressure is converted into an electrical signal, right? So the delta pressure is converted into an electrical signal which is sent to the pack control, right? It was uh, uh, the purpose of this one is the delta pressure is connect, uh, converted into electrical signal which is sent to the pack control. All right, so the next one is pack inlet pressure sensor pack inlet pressure sensor so the location over there right so this is the uh, pack inlet pressure sensor this is the body and this is the flying light all right so this is the pack inlet pressure sensor you can see right pack inlet pressure sensor so it uh, it signals pressure to the primary computer right pack inlet pressure sensor signals pressure to the primary computer and if the pressure is too low if the pressure is too low the bypass valve is controlled to a more open position to decrease the delta pressure of the pack all right okay so next one is uh, uh yeah so the number is wrong right this should be three so compressor overheat pneumatic sensor compressor overheat pneumatic sensor so you can see the compressor overheat pneumatic sensor this is the location and see the pneumatic connector and this is the body right so you can see the compressor overheat pneumatic sensor over there right so uh, the pneumatically connected to the flow control valve to close it in case of overheat detection right so it vents the full control valve muscle pressure sorry flow control valve muscle pressure right pneumatically connected to the flow control valve to close it in case of overheat detection right so it vents the flow control valve muscle pressure right so the next one the compressor temperature sensor so you can see this is the fourth one right that number is wrong so the compressor temperature sensor so the compressor temperature sensor located in here right so this is the electrical connector and this is the uh, compressor temperature sensor this is the compressor temperature sensor and this is the sensor body right so this is the live view you can see compressor outlet overheat temperature sensor you can see Right, so the compressor temperature sensor is used for pack temperature control functions and pack overheat detections right remember the compressor temperature sensor is used for pack temperature control functions and pack overheat detection so it is connected to the pack controller primary computer remember it is connected to the pack controller primary computer right so the next one is compressor overheat sensor compressor overheat sensor so here uh, also same the compressor overheat sensor also located over there so electrical connector over here compressor overheat sensor and this is the sensor body this is the line locations compressor outlet overheat temperature sensor both are there so it is connected to the pack controller secondary computer for overheat detections remember the compressor temperature sensor right it is connected to the pack controller primary computer and the compressor overheat sensor it is connected to the pack controller secondary computer for overheat detection so the sensor also provides compressor overheat temperature on cam all right 
right so next one is pack outlet temperature sensor pack outlet temperature sensor located over there uh, right near the condenser so this is the electrical connector over there this is the pack outlet temperature sensor and sensor body so you can see this is the pack outlet pneumatic sensor over here and this is the pack discharge sensor pack discharge sensor pack outlet pneumatic sensor and this is the water extractor temperature sensor over here so uh, the pack outlet temperature sensor it provides indications for ecam display and detects pack hour heat if the air cycle machine fails or when the pack is off and trim air check valve fails all right so it provides indications for you can display and detect pack overheat if the air cycle machine fails or when the pack is off and trim air check valve fails all right okay so the next one is water extractor temperature sensor water extractor temperature sensor is located here right you can see this is located here so this is the six pin electrical connector over here and the water extract temperature sensor this is the water extract temperature sensor and this is the sensing element right so uh, there are two uh, sorry so this is the water extractor temperature sensor over here and this is the pack sensors so it consists of two thermistors right the water extractor temperature sensor consists of two thermistors and is used for pack temperature control so one thermistor is connected to the primary computer and the other thermistor to the secondary computer remember one thermistor is connected to the primary computer and the other thermistor to the secondary computer all right so the next one is pack outlet uh, pneumatic sensor pack outlet pneumatic sensor so this is located over here right pack outlet pneumatic sensor then this is the uh, you can see this is the pack outlet pneumatic sensor this is the pneumatic connector and this is the body right okay so it is pneumatically connected to the anti ice valve for pack temperature control in case of pack control of failure as the uh, anti ice valve muscle pressure right so it is pneumatically connected to the anti ice valve for pack temperature control in case of pack control of failure right so it adjusts the anti ice valve muscle pressure right yeah so uh, that is the end of uh, today lesson so uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and the next lesson will be the last lesson regarding zone temperature control so next lesson you will identify the location and the description of the zone components so uh, stick with my channel kvh engineering so if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe and do not forget to uh, press the bell icon and also do not forget to share with your friends relatives and your uh, any anyone who in your like uh, the social media facebook uh twitter anywhere so uh uh that is the that's all uh that's the end of this lesson so if you're interested please hit the like button for this uh video okay so have a good day for all of you and see you on next lesson